Hello folks and welcome to Model Rocket Series 3 Episode 5. Hopefully you got to see Episode 4 where we had the successful maiden flight of Quantum Leap in single stage configuration and that also, as you saw earlier, got me my level 2. So, what's the next step? Well, it's going to be putting her up in two stage configuration. That's going to be an absolutely spectacular flight. And I thought I would dedicate an episode to the motors and the performance aspect of it and then uh, dedicate episode 6 purely to the flight footage. Right, so without further ado, let's go and have a look at the motors. Okay folks, here we are having a look at the motors. Right, so we'll start with the booster, which is the first stage. So this is going to be lifting the whole rocket up. This is my... Saturn V as it were and as you can see it's um, pretty big it's a 54 3 grain motor you can see I've got the 54 mil 3 grain casing behind it and it is the Smoky Sam variant 1043 newton seconds total with an average of 380 so that's a reasonably high impulse it's not too extreme um, should get the rocket going up nice and straight which is exactly what you want for a two-stage flight to give the sustainer the best chance. So yeah, here's a, a look at the casing. As you can see, it's a um, pretty meaty piece of kit, so that's going to look fantastic. It should give us some nice black plumes of smoke going off the pad. Right, let's have a look at the motor for the sustainer. So by comparison, here you can see the motor for the sustainer. It's a 38 mil and it's a three grain white 411 newton seconds total with an average of 175 so that's going to give us a nice white trail as we see the sustainer ignite and blast off which would give us some absolutely fantastic footage as well as uh, keeping the performance uh, sensible but interesting and uh, here you can see the three grain case there's quite a big difference in size between the booster motor and the sustainer motor Righty ho. Now we've had a look at those. Let's go into Roxim and have a look at the specific performance we can expect. Okay, folks, here you can see we're in Roxim. And it's quite a lot to do. We've got the whole rocket loaded up down the bottom here in uh, two stage configuration the booster and the sustainer. So let us prep it for launch. Uh, in flight events, I've got couple of things going on you can see the main parachute coming out at 800 feet the drogue deploy at apogee and if we're going to engine selection uh, let us choose the engines that we have got so we're looking for the CTI uh, 175 white which is there now we put none because obviously the altimeter is doing the work for the parachute getting that out and then in here we are looking for our smoky sam uh, let's have a look a bit further down j there it is the j380 smoky sam okay now it's a bit weird in roxim because you have to use the uh, ejection delay to do the ignition delay so I've put two in there, you'd think it would go in there, and I made that mistake a few times, but I've since discovered you have to put it in there for whatever reason. Um, so that's done, right, we shall now launch and see what we get. Thinking about it, and it says 5,761 feet, 452 miles an hour, only 7G, 18.5 second flight up there, which is pretty nice. And then obviously uh, velocity at deployment is low because the altimeter is going to be doing it at exactly apogee. We know that obviously Roxim does generally over-exaggerate, so I'd quite confidently say no more than 5,000 feet there. And then the speed uh, is probably going to be around that region anyway. And if we go on to plot graph, we can see where everything is going to happen. Uh, so it looks as if it's going to be around about, ooh, out there. So about 1,800 foot we should get the second stage Ignite, the sustainer. And as you can see, that's represented here as it accelerates up to uh, about 5,000 feet and then that makes its way down. Excellent. Okay. 
So that is it for this episode. If you don't want to miss that flight, then please do hit the subscribe button. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode on what we can expect from Quantum Leap's maiden two-stage flight. It's going to be great, and I'll see you next time.